Shalom everyone, welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. I'm Kenethia J or Kenethia Johnson. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Okay, it's just one of the neighbors outside. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. That's what I'll start. So the first message I do have is even while you're in the delay, you are still supposed to submit prayer and supplication. Okay. So don't let the devil trick you out of manifesting. That's how it took me so long. It's like he'll say something that sound like God, but it's, and it's not that it's not of God. It's just that God wasn't really saying that to me. It was a spirit of influence. It was somebody who didn't want me to go yet. It was somebody who was saying, no, wait. And so these people or these pastors or these prophets, they'll come up with different ways to delay your manifestation. And so you have to be the person that knows that God is speaking to you. And, and God will test you. He'll let you sit there. And he and the best thing about the Lord is he's very patient with us. So he'll see that we missed him over there, but we didn't miss out on the blessing. And so what he does is he'll create another way and he'll come and he'll say the same thing he said before. And you have to pick up on it that that's the Lord. He said, OK, even though you're in the delay, you still supposed to be submitting prayer and supplication without anxiousness. I should still hear you coming to me saying, Lord, remove the delay. Lord, it's time to man of Lord, you said. And so that's something you have to understand. Like it's a process of manifesting. That was for somebody. It could have been for me as I watched the replay. But don't let people trick you out of manifesting. That's why it took me so long. I'm telling you, I had to really take a step back and go inside myself and hear the Lord. And then say, okay, that's him through them. Okay, that's him over here. Okay, he just said that when I was at the house too. And I was thinking, and so, so this person said it out loud. Okay, that's the Lord. Like, thank you, Holy Spirit. The next word I have, let me see if I have a Bible scripture. So the word I got is go to church. And you're not just going to any church, but you're going to pick and choose a home where you want to serve the Lord. Everybody got some kind of church drama. It's always going to be somebody or the devil following. And the reason why I say somebody or the devil is because we got to take accountability of all this wisdom and knowledge. Like we're not dumber than the devil. It's not that the devil is dumb, but we can't be close like this to God. And he got his, uh, what you call it? His own destiny. So you can, we can't be getting tricked like this all the time. I don't see why we get why we be falling for it sometime, but sometimes it's you and sometimes it's the devil. That's just what you got to perceive and receive. And then the next thing, what was it? Go to church. Okay, so even though you got like, yeah, just still go to church. You're going for the Lord and your family. It's something about being in the house of the Lord. It's an experience. It's a oneness that comes complete. Like you got your you got your walk throughout the week. Some churches have Bible studies or prayer hours throughout the week to keep the church together. So that way it doesn't feel like you just went Monday through Saturday without hearing from God. It's up for by yourself. And then Sunday you go to church and then that's it. And so to better the relationship, they add more things and to incorporate throughout the week, which is perfect. If you have time for it, it's perfect. So here's the thing. You can't say you're a Christian and you don't go to nobody church online, in, in person. You don't have no physical walk with God. That's not a Christian. 
or a believer. Maybe that's a Christian, but that's not a believer. <laughs> Maybe that's a Christian. It just depends on your hometown. It just depends on in your area how they do things. But we don't just go to church one day out the week. Like we got prayer calls. We got we got a Bible study, and that keeps you out of the world so much. It's so it's a it's like you go to work and then you have your personal time and then you got the Lord or you got the Lord, you got work and then you got your personal time. And so God just wants you to he just wants you to know like you need to go to church. It's some things he don't say to you unless you hit that house. Some things he don't say unless you go to this part of the world like you can't have God and not have church. Like you need, you need, it's all, it's a lifestyle. Serving the Lord and saying you believe in Jesus Christ is a full lifestyle. It's not you picking it up and putting it down, but it's you adjusting yourself for God. And then, so what I saw last night and it wasn't, it wasn't because I was watching my shows, but I, I saw something pertaining to money. He who finds a wife finds favor from the Lord. Be thankful for your for the wife to be or your wife that the Lord has blessed you with. It's because of her that you're able to get certain blessings or that God is bringing you favor in a certain area of your life. That was the other message. That's it. I pray y'all have a blessed day. Shalom.